James Lee as a player and then now as a coach, you know, how is the wide receiver position all since you've been here? Um, much more detail, you know. Um, I think that's the biggest thing today. Um, obviously, high school wise, kids are much more developed, you know, much more um, concentrated, should I say. You, you find less guys playing multiple sports and so football focus, um, and they're just much more mature at an earlier age. But, um, you know, it comes down to the same thing. Like, can you catch the ball? Can you run routes? Can you sink your hips? Can you separate? You know, no matter, you know, 25 years from now, 25 years earlier, like, it comes down to those are the guys who. You know, you look at Jerry Rice, you look at um, Luke Hopkins, like all those guys have played a long time in the league. That's what they do. They they contest the catches, they can separate, and you know, they, they just show up every day. The intangibles, the things that you really can't coach vision, mm -hmm. acumen, how do you coach that? Um, you just try to find situations when they come up in practice of, you know, it's teaching for a moment that may happen twice a season or, you know, once in two years. So just trying to teach guys how to think football-wise and what they see that every action has a reaction, a cause and effect. Like this is why this is happening. And what you have a lot of times is guys just like to line up and just react. You know, but you want to be able to, to react, but react to what you already know is going to happen. So seeing pre-snap what's going on and confirming post-snap that I'm a, I'm a half a second earlier and understanding what I'm doing, so I'm that much more faster. Coach, kind of tell us about uh, Sam Hartman. How has he elevated, you know, the wide receiver core and challenged these guys? And what about the emergence of Steve Angeli and has helped these guys as well? Um, Sam has brought a, a maturity um, to, to, to our uh, offense and to our team. Um, um, he's, he's won a lot, played in some big games. So the guys already had that inherited trust and they knew him before he got here. But there's a, there's a level of responsibility, you know, that they don't want to let Sam down. And if he's throwing a great football, like, you got to come down with it. You know, there has to be trust built. And I think we're continuing to build that, the rapport that is needed. Um, they had a great, great summer. And you can tell when we, throughout camp, those guys have been together working hard. But there's a, there's a greater sense of accountability and belief, I think. Um, even in Steve, you know, you mentioned Steve, who's made great strides, a very accurate passer, um, loves to learn. The guys really, really like him, which is key. You know, so he, he's in the huddle, like guys respect him, they trust him. So I think that's big in his development coming into this season. And then talk about the older guys, another kind of a two-part question. Jaden, 222, 25, and Tobias, those older guys, how are they looking so far? And then what about guys like Braylon, Jaden, and uh, Rico? Well, every, everyone has their own lot to say. You know, you never want to compare, you know, what – you know, Rico's doing what JG's doing, what Braylon's doing. Everyone's on a different page. Everyone came from different high school. You know, everyone had different rankings. You know, everyone has different names for the different people. You know, so you have to treat each one according to who they are and where they are and what they need to do. So I try to maintain that level of communication with the guys that, hey, focus on what you're doing. Focus on what you need to build on because it might take someone three years. It might take someone five years. You know, but you ultimately want to get to the end goal. And, you know, going through, Tobias is able to give those guys a sense of um, just like hope that they're going to work, because he went through it last year and learning, adjusting to college, adjusting to the type of practice we have, the standard that they have. You know, most of these guys, well, all of them are the best at their school, you know, and things kind of went through them. So it's kind of like starting from the bottom again and raising up that level of play, level of understanding, level of responsibility because they've been here, the young guys have been here since the spring, so it's not like they're freshmen anymore. Where is Chris Carroll kind of grown the most since the spring? Um, I think understanding concepts, understanding um, how and when to use his speed. His speed is his superpower. I mean, you know, sometimes he leans too heavily on that in the beginning, because I have just outrun people, but helping him understand what the defense is trying to do, um, when to use you know, this release, that release, and when to sprint, when to go fast, when to kind of go slow. So for him, the biggest speed fluctu fluctuation have been the biggest thing I've seen him growing. Um, as, as a group, how is the attention to detail kind of going? It's, it's always an ongoing process. Improvements are always ongoing. Uh, one of our mottos in our room is just get 1% better. And that means there's never enough, there's never um, a great finish attention, set, set standard of attention to detail. So it's always going to be one more. So the more they learn when they level up, OK, there's another attention to detail that they need to get to. So it's always an ongoing process of encouragement and teaching. All right.
obviously the uh, run game a big part of this offense. Where would you say you guys are at for the run blocking aspect right now? And are there anybody? Is there anybody in the room that's kind of sticking out? Well, yeah, Rico's done a good job in run blocking. Um, he, he's a tough kid. Um, he, he, he thrives in it. JT, you know, most of those guys are bigger body guys. JG's done a good job in that. But it's, it's all effort. You know, understanding where the ball is going and it's a mentality and effort. Like, I want to get my hands on guys. I want to cover them up. And, you know, to take Coach Mickens' thing, just deny my man. You know, just not my guy's going to be the one to make the tackle. And, you know, just as those guys sacrifice in the pass game and taking on a backer and doing all that, all that stuff, we have to sacrifice for them in the run game. So then you can build a camaraderie of love and attention to detail and everyone's working together and dependability as a team. You mentioned that size of your receiver group. Is this one of the bigger groups you've actually worked with and also what kind of benefits and I guess maybe drawbacks come with that? Um, like each, like again, each player is his own. Um, it just works out right now that, you know, big and fast is always better than small and fast. You know, like we, we have some big, strong guys and we want them to like use their gift in what they have. Like Chris is a different guy. So you want, I said from the beginning, from day one that I got here, like I want them to, you know, resemble a basketball team because everyone's different in, in their own right. And you have the same guy, you're easy to defend. So I want those guys to be um, different sizes, different body types, and, and able to move around the field. And I think that helps us a lot. Coach, more, how, how is the, uh, how close are these guys? They seem pretty close on the field. It's, it's like, yeah, I think I think the love is huge we have in our room, and that's one of the biggest differences from last year coming into this year. And as we go through the camp, that the guys all love each other. You know, they're all competitive, they're all accountable to each other, they all pick each other up, um, and I think that's huge in having belief that we can do the things that we want to do this year. And that, um, in my past, the, the stronger the love, the better the group. And I think we have something special right now. It's a special place to be, a special time to be here right now. And I think these guys are going to simplify that throughout the season. Coach, I was the competition against the defense backs. I kind of made the decision better. Yep, Coach Mickens has done a phenomenal job in the guys he's brought in. Um, you think Cam Hart, you think um, Ben Morrison, you think Christian Gray, Michael Bell, all those guys are really, really good players. And I tell our guys, like, hey, you're probably not going to see a better group of DBs this season. You know, so like, don't get discouraged when they make a play, but be encouraged when you do make a play against those guys. And, you know, at a place like Notre Dame, it should be NFL guys going on NFL guys. And that's the culture that we've created. Again, Mike has done a phenomenal job along with our recruiting staff and bringing that type of those type of players, that type of competitiveness, um, just that talent level has helped us in a, in a huge way. Rico, where's your biggest growth come since the spring? I'll say mental, the mental aspect of things. Um, starting like with the playbook, I'm grasping the playbook more, um, knowing each and other position on so where to do and where to be. So I'll say the mental aspect and just keep growing in that too. And then how beneficial was it to get in early so that everything now was in with the new team? It was, it was a good thing to come in early for sure because I was coming two months ago, I feel like a chicken with his head cut off. You know, things are going faster, especially in fall camp. Like, you're expected to know things in a little, little detail. So I feel like coming in January is a big impact on me. Where have you grown in since the spring, you know, coming in? What, what, where have you been in the focus on this coming in? Again, the playbook, um, the mental aspect of things. Like, I mean, came here for a reason. I mean, everybody out here is athletic, can't grow, and stuff like that, on the receiver side of things, so um, the mental, the mental part of the game. What about uh, the guys you came in with, Braylon and, and, and Jaden coming in with those guys? How have you got the birds know so far together and connected so far? I mean, we're going through the same thing. So we all came in January. It was tough. Uh, I mean, there's a day. I didn't barely get sun here. You know, they're from Texas. I'm from California, so it was a big difference. So like we all went through that together, and we're all, how do I say, it, relying on each other. Like one day might have the, somebody might have the juice, some other person might not have the juice. So if we're that one person got to pick up the other two, or two pick up the one, or you know, so just relying on each other. Rico, growing up against the DBs, how have they made you better? Competitive. I mean, we're all competitive. So like they want it, I want it. So we both want it. So I mean, we going, we going. Die or try. And then, as far as intangibles, outside of the skills, what separates you from the other receivers? 
I say, when I step on the field, I want it. I don't care who you are in front of me, I want it. And I'm not going to let you take it from me. Early on in your career, it can be kind of moment to get time on special teams. And, and then you have noticed that some of the coaches possibly look at you as being a triple player. How do you balance putting in work as a receiver as opposed to putting in work on the special team side? Uh, in that aspect, it's, it's kind of the same little things. You know, you run in, you get, you'll be in the receiver stand sometimes, um, depending on what you're doing. I mean, I've been gunner, you still got to release. So it's kind of relatively the same type of thing. So it's not like a, uh, like a high, low type of thing. I feel like they're like right next to each other in certain aspects of things. One more. How is KK fit into the room once he got here? Oh, KK is a, a great character. Um, he's a great guy. I mean, I know. His, his situation right now, but he, he's for sure like studying the things. Um, he's been in his playbook, coach asks questions. He'll say, I mean, we sit next to each other in the uh, meeting room and coach will say something and like, he'll like mutter it under his breath like on what the right answer is. And I'll just look to him and I'll smirk. I'm like, that's right, you need your playbook for sure. Dion, where does Coach Stucky kind of push you um, at 3 o'clock camp? Um, for me, this fall camp sucks to really push me on um, being physical, um, obviously using my frame to my advantage and not letting those guys get underneath me and dictate what I do, and, and also just playing fast. Um, me knowing, coming into my third season, um, I'm starting to know the playbook a lot more now, obviously, and, and just to, when, I, when I recognize coverage and when I recognize what the defense is doing, just playing fast and uh, playing free. And then how much did just making a few plays last year just give you confidence to kind of build momentum? Um, it definitely gave me a lot of confidence just knowing that I, I am capable of making those plays um, when, when the time counts and just each day keep working on my ability to make those plays and my ability to um, help this team do whatever it takes to win. Obviously, the shift and switching quarterbacks, how quickly do you feel like you're able to get back up to speed as far as that mental connection? Um, I would say it didn't take as long as expected. Um, he, came in, he came in the spring, obviously, and we had to go to spring together. I think most of our work, uh, our work really came in the summer. Um, we spent a lot of time working on timing, working on cover trees, all of that type of thing um, in the summer um, with, with Sam and with, with all the other wideouts as well. So I feel like the summer um, summer workouts is where we really put in the work and then in the camp we just got to display it and keep building on that. You guys obviously practicing it's a very talented quarterback room as well. What uh, I guess can it be frustrating knowing that you can do everything right and still have a guy in the pocket? Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, it is a little bit frustrating. You always want to um, be completely wide open, but you have to trust the process and you have to know that um, although you want to win every rep and you want to be wide open every rep, um, the odds of that happening is really not that high. And so you just got to put your head down and keep working and, and, and watch the film and understand, um, I guess, what you could have done to maybe have gotten open on that play. Yeah, you talked about your experience. How does that experience translate on game day? How important is it to have that experience? Um, I think it's very important um, just to go into a college atmosphere and, and to know the pressure that is on the game, obviously, and, and still have an ability to go out there um, and play fast and play free. Um, it, it definitely adds a boost. Um, but I think I have the, the, the utmost trust in the freshmen on this team to go out there in the first game of the season and, and do the same thing. Um, and I expect the same thing out of them as well. What are your strengths? My strengths? Um, obviously, my size is, is God given. Um, and, and leadership, uh, along, uh, outside of football, is definitely one of my, my biggest strengths. Um, I, I look at myself as a leader. Um, I look at every single one of my guys, and I think that. Um, when we have that strong connection, that strong bond, um, that it, that translates to football. I mean, we're willing to do whatever um, for each other. Coach, chance to talk about earlier about how close you guys were. How would you describe, you know, the love you guys have in this room for each other? <sighs> to be honest, it might be a little cliche, but like, you can't really describe it. Like, it's it's a different feeling um, than than the group last year. I mean, we had a wonderful group last year, but this year um, we're a really tight knit group. Um, we hang out outside of football. We talk about things other than football, um, and I think that's important because when we come out here, um, we, we hold that same kind of respect. We hold each other accountable, um, and, and you know, when tough times are tough, you can always lean on any guy in this room, so I love it. Jane, where's just the biggest growth coming to your game since the spring, and how come forward you right um, I'd say the biggest growth has probably come in my route running and just recognizing coverages. Uh, I think Coach Stuck has done a really good job of pushing me and the rest of the receivers uh, just to be our best. Um, you know, 
know, understanding what we're trying to do, understanding what the defense is trying to do and why they're doing it. Um, you know, he's really been getting at us, just trying to push us to our limits to really be ready for this upcoming season and uh, know that we're all going to be contributors and we all have to be ready. And then just what's your anticipation level for that first game? It's about two weeks away now. Uh, I'm super excited. I mean, playing in Ireland, you know, a lot of people don't get to do that. Uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I'm ready to make the most of it. Top one is this wide receiver. Oh, I mean, all those guys are great. I mean, we're always laughing, having a good time. Uh, but then when, when we get on the field, we're always competing, you know, trying to push each other to be our best, and, you know, we're coming along for sure. What did you learn from that play? I mean, just the importance of details. I mean, like every single thing that we do has to be precise um, and it has to be efficient. So, you know, when we're out there, you know, it can't, it's got to be like that. You know, we can't take that, you know, little pause because, you know, some could, we could miss some and an opportunity goes away. So, you know, just staying ready. Uh, Anticipating what we have to do so that we can go out there and do the foul. Kind of question, but with Braylon, you know, make it easy, y'all gonna get on the track. You know, t shirts, how funny, anything like that. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? With yeah. Braylon making it, you know, yeah. making music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Production, making music. You gonna catch any of you guys, you know, the t shirt on the track, one day, anything like that? Uh, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I mean, I don't have bars like that personally, like Bray does, uh, but I'm sure some of the other receivers do, and so they could definitely hop on it for sure. It looks like Paul Kent getting a graduate education. What do you process all the things that are thrown at you? What does that tell us about you as a person who did I mean, it's been a lot for sure. You know, Compared to spring, there's a lot more that we have to know, and there's a lot more uh, intensity and urgency with you know the season being right around the corner. but. Uh, you know, it's good because, you know, it makes us raise our level of play even higher. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like, if we're not getting, getting the job done, somebody else will. What so do you think about yourself in this process? Really just, you know, taking care of my body, hydrating, uh, studying the playbook, uh, and really trying to be as prepared that I can for each practice to, you know, go out there and prove myself and show what I have. Um, really just, you know, being unpredictable and creating space against uh, other DBs, you know. At the end of the day, if you're open, the ball's probably going to be coming to you. So, you know, just trying to get as open as much as I can, making sure that I'm doing my job and doing it as fast as I can so that, you know, I can build trust with my teammates and the coaching staff as well. This is your... So how's it going from a guy who's you know, 17, 18 playing quarterback to a guy who's like 24? What's the transition for that? Um, I mean, it's definitely different, you know. Uh, I remember watching Sam play college football when I was a kid, so you know, now he's my teammate. So it's definitely a, it's definitely a new experience. But you know, Sam's a great person. And all the quarterbacks are great people. So you know, just being able to uh, you know be a target for guys like those is, is crucial. Uh, obviously, a super talented receiver. What are some ways that you've been working personally to kind of separate yourself from the um, I think the game's about contested catches. So, like, making the tough catches is just what the game's about at the next level and even in college. So, I think making those catches when it counts is what matters. If I take this in progression, when you find a cross from the defender, what goes through your mind? Um, I think a lot goes through your mind. Like, depending on the play, you're looking for coverages, you're looking for if you have to set a pick route, you're looking for if you got to dive down, you got to get out, you know. First off, I'm going to look for my safeties. If it's too high, one high. So one high is going to indicate a man, and two high is going to indicate a zone. But a lot of times they flip out, so you got to make sure you second, like you got to take a second look after the snap. But a little pre snap, you just want to see how close the DB is to you, that's the guard unit, and how far the safety is away from you. Where have you improved in those areas? Do what you said. Um, I think I couldn't have said that when I first got here. So saying that now is just uh, props to Chancey Stuckey and all the coaching staff here. What's it been like facing a guy on the side of you and getting on the horse and yeah. What's it like um, I think it's just like iron sharp and iron. We talked about today, like it was Sauce and um, Garrett Wilson against in the hard knocks uh, for the Jets. So I'm like every day, me going against 20 and going against Cam, um, I think it's just the best thing I got. Like in the nation, those are some of the best corners we're going to face uh, probably any, Saturday, any given Saturday. So having that in practice every day is just a blessing. I think it was back in the spring, I might be wrong about this, but I think Coach Stucky had a very much like a random loss 
be in tension with the young you know, deep in the field. What was your response to something like that? Um, specifically, I think he quoted like saying when the ball's in the air, just tracking it. Um, I mean, I won't be mad about that comparison, but I, sometimes I mean, I see it in myself. You know, Randy Moss is just a just generational like world like talent, um, one of the best receivers ever. So I think being in the same conversation is just you know props to me. But thank you, Janty Tucky. <laughs> Obviously, a big part of you guys is offensive game plan is running the football. Yeah. And where would you say you're at as far as run blocking? I think over this this um, summer we've taken a big emphasis on run blocking and also like screen blocking, you know, because screens are just an extended run for us. Uh, I think being able to block in the perimeter and earn, earn the catches you get is just a big part of our offense. What's something Sam does well that might not be talked about enough? I think the way he leads, um, the way like today after practice, you know, things weren't, we were getting a little mouth to and then, you know, Sam comes over there and like, hey guys, we're good, we're going to be just we want to be. It's practice. Things are going to go bad. So, you know, it's always, it's never as bad as it seems, never as good as it looks. You know, him just being that old, I don't want to say it looks, I love him, but <laughs> that old voice and that old soul in the, in the room and, and the offense just is great for us. As far as your personal growth, which one has come easier to you, the physical side of the game or the mental side? Um, I want to say neither has really came easy. Like, you know, you got to fight for every, every inch, every percent of your game getting better. But I mean, physically, it's been, I think it's a little more catered because you get like, all of our staff we have are just doing a great job, excellent job of helping us get physically ready. But mentally, you got to take that more to your own accords, watching extra film, you know, studying other guys, studying corners that we're going to play, studying offense, you know, stuff like that. One more. Chemistry and growing close to you know, you guys love on each other. Yeah. Obviously, I'm taking stuff driven stuff like that on the side, but uh, how does that help on and off the field, you know, watch the better? Yeah, I think uh, there would be a really, you know, really hard time finding a closer group of receivers and then what we have here. Um, and I think it just, Helps us because we know how to get each other going. We know when someone drops a ball, when someone makes a has an MA, we know how to get them going. We know how to, you know, we know when you got to step up. You know, like one guy's having not a good day, you know, not as good as they want to be, and the next guy's going to step up. We know we don't care who's getting the ball. We just want to be open. We want to be good as an offense, you know. Talk about being in the room. How are you going to get along with these young guys and uh, getting better? Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, there's so many personalities in that in that one room, as you guys can see over there. Um, but, you know, it's been good. Um, I was just telling somebody upstairs, like, it's a kind of weird situation where I'm learning the position. Like, I'm just now starting to learn the receiver position. And then the freshmen are just now getting here. They're trying to learn, you know, what's what's it like being in the program. So it's a weird dynamic there, but, you know, I've loved every moment of it. How they have you and how you have them as well as the older guys, JT, Gianna. Yeah. Um, I would say I can help them just by just by being here, you know, learning, learning uh, different routines. Um, things like that, how, how the program goes, what to expect from practice, how to practice. And then, you know, like I said, like they've been playing receiver their whole lives. So I'm constantly learning different things from them just by watching them. So it's, it's been pretty cool. Coach you mentioned your speed. Uh, you guys speed you know, and you had a guy adjust him to know when to have to call for all the block and things like that. How did you look at that and what made you adjust? Yeah, I would say it's um kind of hard, you know, being a kind of I would say kind of fast guy. Um, it's a uh, you have to learn when and when not to use it, and I think that's something that, I, that I'm learning in, in my route running. Um, you know, it's a certain expertise that you have to learn, and like I said, I, like I'm constantly progressing at it. I'm trying to get better at it each and every day. First, can I follow up on that in terms of speed and vision? How's that experience helped you use your God-given abilities to perform? Yeah, um, I wouldn't call it a bailout sometimes. But, um, you know, just being able to use my speed is kind of like, Coach Lucky will call it my superpower. Um, so, you know, when I'm trying to figure out a plan on, on, on those certain routes, I know that I could, you know, kind of pop my feet and just outrun the guy and beat him to the spot. So, you know, this is been here a long time, so why is this even special? Um, I would say it's kind of like a breath of fresh air. You know, I'm, I'm playing a new position. Uh, I have a new number. Um, you know, practicing each and every day with the new coach, the whole new group. So it's been really exciting for me. And like I said before, like I've loved every moment of it. I'm excited for the season. Chris, what did you get out of that training trip? You took the Houston work with the coach. Yeah. Um, well, one, I kind of got a different outlook on the receiver position. Like me being new to the to the transition and, and, and being new to the room, um, I kind of got a really good foundation just by learning from Coach Stuck and the receivers in the room. And then me being able to, you know, go out, travel to a new place, meet meet new people, and then trap and uh, work out with 
a whole new group. Um, I think that was good for me as well. So I've just been constantly um, taking the information and trying to learn from everybody that I meet. And then how beneficial has the honor been just for you, just like you said, learning the position? Yeah, it's been really efficient for me because I can catch a lot of balls at one time. Um, you know, just if you could compare it to like a regular single jug machine, you have to take the ball out, shoot it, catch the ball, put it back in, and reload it again. Um, you know, with the with the monitor, I can catch like 30 balls in like two minutes. So, um, just me being able to get as many reps as I can in a short amount of time is good for me. What's the chemistry like in this room? I kind of talked to the other guys about it and coached about it. They had their own thoughts on what you're doing. Yeah, I think it's been you know a really good competitive a, a, a competitive outlook on um, you know just being able to figure out who's the playmaker in the room, who's the leader in the room. I think um, it's not really any egos in the room. I think it's a really healthy, competitive relationship between all of us, but um, you know, we're all trying to reach our full potential and get ready for the season. So we all have one common goal. How's the dynamic been different of developing a rapport with the quarterback from the receiver position as opposed to the quarterback? Yeah, it's a little bit different because, you know, obviously there's different kind of play styles in different positions, but, um, you know, we were just talking to Sam like not even 20 minutes ago about how you know, if you have to build trust, and especially with a skill position like wide receiver, all you have to do is make plays, like at um, O line or running back or um, any kind of position like tight end. You can show it by you know, your effort, blocking downfield, things like that. But at receiver, you just got to make plays. And having a, a six-year guy at QB, have you seen sort of the impact of his maturity yet, or is that something more in the whole stuff for him? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, we've had our ups and downs throughout camp, and you know that's going to come no matter what. Um, Having somebody with that kind of experience and that kind of confidence in himself and his teammates has been really helpful for us. We good? One more. Let's do one more. Um, if you ever wanted to be in that running back position or one in that running back position, how easy is it to make that transition? You still go through a progression than you did sometimes? You know, how, how would that work? Yeah, I laugh at Coach Deal and that at our practice sometimes just because um, you know, I, I, I have no choice. Like, I can't help it but to look at, you know, with the running backs, you know, sometimes it's. Uh, I've been playing that position my whole life, so I still have a part of it in me. So if they need me back, I'm, I'll, I'll be out of it for it, for sure. Can you tell us about this receiver group and what it looks like so far? Um, I definitely think we're just a bunch of dogs in the room uh, this year. I'm really excited. All the boys are excited. We Young guys, talented. Uh, I think this is probably one of the most talented receiver groups that I've ever been a part of and Notre Dame has ever had. Uh, you know, just look at the freshmen. Great House, Flores, and Braylon all got tremendous speed, route running, and then you got, you know, Dion, me, Tobias, who've been here and played, and then we got Chris and Matt Salerno, just veteran. So I think I think we have a, a great group of guys uh, who want to compete, uh, we like to have fun, and we just love the ball. How hungry is this group to show what it's capable of uh, on the field, you know, coming off the last year? Yeah, I think we're uh, definitely uh, really focused, for sure. Uh, I wouldn't say we really had anything to prove. We just want to show what, what we can do. Um, I think everybody knows what, what we can do, especially our team. Um, you know, Sam, the quarterback like Sam. Uh, I just think uh, it's going to be really exciting. It's not so much of, you know, proving something to anybody. It's just showing what, what our skill set is. What about for yourself personally, trying to take your game to the next level? Where, where do you feel you're at and where can you go? Yeah, definitely. Uh, There's always stuff you can work on, but uh, I think I've definitely improved since last year. Um, you know, just Going into the details, uh, getting my connection right with Sam, uh, and just you know overall playbook studying, and you know getting more and more reps. How has the chemistry going with Sam for all of you guys? What you've seen in yourself, and then what you've seen in your, in your teammates as far as the connection that you guys have been on and off the field? Yeah, it's definitely grown uh, since the spring since he first got here. You know, Sam, he's, he's a natural born leader, so. You know, it's not really hard to, you know, get extra work with him or, you know, watch something with him, go over something or, you know, talk on the side about a route or which way he, he wants it to run, which way we, we want it to run. So uh, it's definitely grown a lot uh, for, for every receiver, I would say, because, you know, someone like Sam, he's, he's not afraid to approach anybody, not afraid to tell you what to do. Uh, he's not afraid to say that he's wrong or say that you're wrong. So it's definitely great to have a guy like that. Jim, give us some insight into your position. Can you mind up across you? What's going on? Uh, it's definitely just when, um, you know, it's when you're one on one. Freeman says that a lot in team meetings, and you know, it's it's, it's in the building. Just that that motto, of just when you're one on one. So no matter who I'm going up against, uh, you know, just my plan is to win. What separates you from the defender? How do you feel? Uh, definitely just you know film, uh, studying, and then you know my my skill set and 
setting people up uh, the way that I want to and just my physicality I bring and you know my my ability to just go get the ball. Where's Coach Stucky kind of challenge the receiver back? Uh, definitely just uh, you know all around, uh, especially the details uh, because that's really what separates everybody at this level. You know we're all talented, we're all four or five stars, been the best player in our state, but it's people who you know go to work every day and perfect the details. Uh, you know just doing the the ordinary things and extraordinary level. So just stuff like that, stuff he always you know preaches to us and just hone in on the details that can make us great. You guys have a lot to still work on between now and then, but how would you guys look forward to the opportunity of, of playing in public and that unique? Yeah. You know, you're kicking off the season too. It's the first game. Yeah. Of it's kind of crazy, week zero in, in Dublin. It almost feels like, you know, some kind of a movie, uh, but it's, it's Notre Dame. So, you know, that's, that's what we expect when we come here. But I know I'm excited. I know the receivers ex excited. The, the whole team is excited. You know, we can't wait to get out there and, you know, finally just get on that, that grass and, and go to work and show what we've been working on since last spring. What are your impressions of Jordan Faze on so far? Oh, he's a talented guy, speed demon. Uh, you know, you can kind of see how, you know, lacrosse translates to, to the receiver he plays. Uh, you know, he's in and out of cuts. Uh, it's, it's, it's really exciting, honestly, because, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to see how, you know, some sports transfer over, but you can tell he's just a football guy. He's always been one. Um, so it's kind of cool to have him in the room, uh, to have him on the team, uh, and I think he's going to be great in the future.